The first time I ever went to Israel was in November 67. And when I got off the plane, everyone was kissing the ground. And it just felt very different from any other place. Very, very few Jews will say that Israel isn't part of what it means to be Jewish for them. I think that's one of the reasons why we are affected by what happens in Israel and we feel we have a voice. I grew up in a home where Israel was absolutely central to every Friday night dinner conversation we ever had. It really lit up my childhood and it was a core part of what it meant for me as a young Jewish person. As I got older and understood more about what was going on there and the conflict, the thing that concerned me was, was that Israel that had been such a core part of my experience as a young Jew going to survive as that Jewish and democratic state which I loved? moving forward without a resolution to the conflict with the Palestinian people. I know that there are many, many people in the Jewish community who wish to speak about these issues, and yet they are afraid of being branded as those who are not supporters of Israel, those who are not supporters of the community. We set Yachad up because we wanted to fill that space inside the community, a, a space in which people felt comfortable as proud supporters of Israel, as proud members of Anglo Jewry, to really find their voices, to be able to speak out in support of a long-term, peaceful future, not just for Israel, but for the Palestinian people too. Yachad has taken thousands of British Jews to the West Bank and East Jerusalem. These trips provide people with an opportunity to see the reality on the ground for themselves. Last summer, I was lucky enough to go on the first Yachad student trip to the West Bank, which to some extent really opened my eyes to the reality of the occupation. Um, I'm a youth leader in a Zionist youth movement, and that same summer I'd led Israel tour. I'd shown 40 16-year-olds Israel, the country that I love and I care about. And yet going to, for example, checkpoints and the split city of Hebron and the military courts was deeply troubling. We believe the involvement of the next generation is essential for our community, which is why Yachad is committed to working with students and youth movements. Each year, hundreds of young people engage with our work, eager to be better informed and make a difference. I don't feel like I've ever been comfortable saying my opinion before. In my youth movement and also just in my life at university, talking to my friends, I've shown the Yachad page to my friends and said, look at this, these are the grassroots projects that are happening and they need to be promoted more because this is where peace is going to come from. We have a very prominent panel tonight to... Yachad inspires British Jews to take action to support change through providing clear information and by exposing our community to leading thinkers and experts from Israel. ...have led astray into this fantasy la-la land. People that have grown up in all spectrums of the Anglo-Jewish community, it's actually one of the only places where they find that they can get a fuller picture. I think more and more Yachad actually represents the mainstream of what people in the Anglo-Jewish community feel and want. When I look back to where we started and how far we've come in such a short amount of time, it's just quite amazing to see. And that is really solely down to the thousands of supporters we have inside the community. And my hope for the future is that Yachad will continue to grow and will continue to have a lasting impact both here and in Israel. I'm so pleased that Yachad has come onto the scene. I think it's going to play an absolutely central role in being the magnet and for an open and honest discussion. Someone who sees must be prepared to speak. Yahad is opening up speech. It's performing a vital role in the Jewish community that no one else is performing.